G'day Taurus, welcome back to TJ Tarot Down Under. Gonna do the love energy coming towards you as it now, let's go. Give me three cards for the love energy coming towards Taurus, please. Yes, I'm back. I know, I'm day late. <laughs> oh, maybe it's just, just meant to line up with the eclipse. Although we don't get to see it here. It's like it, happening in the northern hemisphere at like two o'clock in the morning to till quarter to three or something and till about five in the morning. <laughs> so yeah, we won't be watching it here <laughs> live. <laughs> Alright, clarify card one please. And I hope you all had a good break. It's good to be back. Clarify card two please. So this is a general reading, take what resonates, leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate at all, you can check out your other placements or check out my playlist and see if something resonates for you there. Clarify card three, please. Cross watches, this could be your energy. If not, it will be somebody else's, so please do keep that in mind. Three more, please, for the love energy coming towards Taurus, please. Uh, all the decks are pre-shuffled and are listed below in the description box in the order that I'm using them in case you are interested in what these decks are. Okay. Clarify card one in row two, please. And I hope you're all doing well, taking care of yourselves, having a good week, a good day, and a good weekend. Clarify card two in row two, please. Whoa. Clarify card three in row two, please. Ooh, okay. All right, let's begin, Taurus. Yeah, I got um, got done my nails this week. I cut them short and just leaving them be for a couple of weeks. All right, healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Ooh, and we've got the judgment card. So they're making a judgment call to heal their family issues. Or do they want a second chance and to heal things with you? Hmm, it's a bit early to say, isn't it? Hmm, they could want to have a second chance to heal things with you. Hmm, let's keep going first. Well, there you go. They want a second chance to heal things with you. <laughs> Reconciliation. Someone in your past is returning to your life. They want to return. Oh, Page of Swords. They've been watching you. And the Death card. Waiting for something to end. Watching and waiting for something to end. Watching you transform. Watching you transform, wanting to reconcile, yeah, bring an end to this separation. Mm. Oh, release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Yes, definitely. <laughs> oh, yeah. And the King of Cups. Wow. So. Releasing that energy of holding back their emotions, all this love they have for you, wanting to release it, clearing their energy so that they are more mo emotionally mature now, since you release them, they've become more emotionally mature. Mm. Yeah, definitely wanting to reconcile and heal this. I've been watching you transform. And since you've released them, they've been having to hold on to and control their emotions. 
Pelican, forgiveness, let go of your judgments. Mm. Okay. We've got the Ace of Wands. Ooh, the Four of Wands. Ooh, the Five of Swords. And the Six of Pentacles. So they want forgiveness because what was a passionate beginning they wanted to become wanted it to become stable a stable connection that's what they were aiming for, but they sabotaged the connection by possibly giving to others giving to others yeah they sabotaged it by. By not being balanced and giving to others, they want forgiveness for that. Because, yeah, they might have been all about the passion, but they did actually want something stable with you. And they sabotaged it because, yeah, they didn't show their bal how balanced they were. There wasn't balance give and take. And they possibly gave more energy to other people than they did to you. Ooh, put that forgiveness part up the top. Normally I put it with the bottom bit, but mm, yours is wanting to go the other way. All right. Dear Pathfinder, trust your instincts to guide you through this situation. Okay. Queen of Pentacles, there you are, male or female. Looking beautiful. Ooh, the King of Wands. Wow. So we've got all four elements here, actually. Because the Queens are in the water energy and earth. And then the Kings are in the air energy with the fire. Yeah. Wow. And the Hierophant, that's your card, Taurus. So... They're trying to find that path, trying to trust their instincts to guide them through the situation to something that is loving and stable, but it also is truthful and honest in its actions and passions. A commitment. So trying to find the path towards all four elements balancing in a commitment with you. Finding that love and stability, being mature in their actions and passions and being committed to you is the path they want to go down. Okay, Hawk, focus, choose your priorities and eliminate all distractions. And we have the Queen of Cups. Wow, under the King of Cups. They definitely love you. And the Hermit, okay, so focus, the focus is love, the best love in the deck, all queens are loving, she is the queen of love, it's the most love anybody can emotionally give, so their focus is to give you their best love, but they know they need to work on themselves first. So focused on themselves and giving you the best love, the, yeah, that self work and being being the best love they can be for you. That's their focus, because you are that star in the lantern. You see how intently this hermit is looking at the star. Yeah, that's how they see you. So yeah, their focus and their priority is the best love that they can possibly give to you. But they know they need to work on themselves to do that. Mm. Alright, bonus deck, because you didn't get a read last week. What else can you tell us about this love energy coming towards Taurus, please? Okay. We have... Girl talk. Time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. So this is what they uh, want to do. They want to move on from the past. 
They want to come to you happily single, ready for love, ready to be in the moment with you, have fun with you. Yeah. And dragonfly, be lighthearted, finding out, things coming to light, adapt, change, heal. Yeah. That finding out is that spying. <laughs> They're trying to be light-hearted about it because they're having to control all these emotions they have for you. They love you massively. Having things come to a lot to light, and they're trying to adapt, change, and heal to come to you in the best energy that they can. All right, bottom of the deck. I'm waiting for an apology. They're waiting to. They're wanting to apologize to you. Yeah, they know. They want forgiveness here. For wrecking something that could have been very stable. Yeah, they want to apologise. <laughs> Alright, what would this love energy like to say to Taurus, please? Okay. We have... You turn me on. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the King of Wands is here, and the Ace of Wands is here. And, like, you know, don't think that they're still not very attracted to you, like, physically, and very turned on by you. That still does apply. <laughs> I need time to heal. But, yeah, they need time to heal themselves, to um, and to heal things. They want time, they want time with you to heal the situation as well. And I can't do this anymore, which is drawing me to this King of Cups. They can't keep having to hold back these emotions and control their emotions when it comes to you. They want to be able to let them flow like the Queen who lets her emotions flow. Yeah. Wow, Taurus, all right, well, that's your reading. So, yeah, they definitely want to come back and heal things and, <sighs> yeah, they love you and they miss you very much. They definitely want commitment with you. All right, well, that's your reading. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Leave a nice comment. That would be awesome. All of those things really help my channel grow. So please, please click the little things or boop, press them with your fingies. Um, yeah, because, uh, look, I'm so close to 4,000 subscribers. We can do it. Like, yeah, it can happen very quickly. And I want it to happen quickly. <laughs> By the end of the year, I want to have 5,000 subscribers. That would be awesome. Wow. So, yeah, if you can help me out with that, that'd be awesome. But, yeah, just thank you for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. All right. Well, all the best. Take care. Good luck. And I'll catch you later.